Hey guys, welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online, and today I'm going to take a look at the Witches Festival that just started um, a few minutes ago. So in order to start this quest, you have to go into the Crown Store, and there's a free item called Crow Caller. And apparently the rarest crow callers have been known to summon more than just birds during the Witches Festival. See what strange and sinister secrets await you. So you can grab this item, and... Then I assume you go... where do you go? Into your inventory? Oh yeah. Let's see. So using that item gives you this uh, little dialogue. Upon closer examination, a faint yellow light emerges from within. Elaborate sigils uh, seem to be carved along the inside of the crow collar. Use the crow collar. Oh. That's weird. A supplicant? Hungry Hello, we got some old lady here. Reaper, come closer. Which mother Olive? Olive. About you. What a You're kind of creepy looking. But last year's harvest won't feed this year's brood. I'll need something fresh to bestow my boon. Your boon? What boon? A witch mother's brew to heighten the reek of death. All Why would I want that? Of reagents. A pumpkin to serve as a base. Guts torn from squeal yeah. critters to add body. So you want a pumpkin and some guts. Anything else? Tamriel is littered with dangerous delves. The strongest creatures within are the wheat amidst the chaff. Harvest them. Their essence will linger about you and add just the right flavor to my brew. Alright, I'll bring you your reagents. That's just a little mysterious. So where do we have to go? Collect pumpkin. I think I already have some of this stuff. I have pumpkin, I have guts, and I just need an essence of death. So where do I get that? Strongest creature in any dangerous delve outside of Cyrodiil. Okay, so I guess I can just go to any delve. Might as well go to one here. Um, yeah, I'll go over here since that's pretty close. I actually haven't done many of these delves, so I guess it's a good opportunity for me to complete them now. Yeah! So I'm gonna go check out... what delve is this? Lady Laurel's Shelter. So I have to defeat a boss in any delve and that'll give me the essence that I need. There's a lot of people here, holy crap, I bet they're all doing the quest. I think I'm just gonna keep my chat box open, just in case. Oh, it's probably gonna be really hard to find a delve boss that isn't dead yet. Wait, I can't go through here right now, I can't. Well, I might as well grab the sky shard while I'm here. Looks like the boss isn't up yet. There it is. Alright, so Lady Lorel is dead and... Okay, I got the essence of death. What now? So I have to find the Witch Mother in Stone Falls. Okay. Stone Falls, that's kind of weird. Where is she in Stone Falls? She oh over here. Okay, um, guess this would be the quickest way shrine to go to. Okay, so I finally uh, got to the location. It actually took me way longer to get here than I would like to admit. It's actually embarrassing. So let's go into her brewery. Lots of people here. This is a creepy building. All right, hello, witch mother. The reaper returns with the. I brought you what you wanted. Yes, the scent of death preceded you. These will do nicely, so very nice. Don't forget our bargain. I don't even remember what our bargain is. <laughs> now, reaper, behold the true bounty of your harvest. What is it? Oh, do I have to talk to her again? 
Drink deeply. <laughs> That's a creepy laugh. A fine feast, fit for kings and tyrants alike. Are you not eager to taste? Dear? I'm not so certain. You came this far, did you not? Drink from the cauldron. Feel the witch mother's brew course through you. Do not delay, Reaper. The harvest lasts only so long. Alright, so we're gonna get Witch Mother's Whistle, which summons the Witch Mother's Cauldron. During the harvest, drinking the cauldron's brew may have additional effects. I wonder what kind of effects those are. Ooh, so we got a. Okay, it's a memento. Alright, what now? Is that it? Is that everything? Well, we got an achievement. There's gotta be more to it than that. Let's see, let's take a look. I wanna look at this achievement first, though. Um... Oh, okay, that's nothing really. So, Memento. That's it? Oh, we can use the brew. So we can drink. Pumpkin pairs well with guts. Oh, I'm a creepy skeleton in a cloak. That's just a little creepy looking. So I think this buff lasts for like an hour or something during the festival, and I, I think you can keep using it. So, what else is there? I know there's more to this. Let's see, we have more achievements for this festival. Pumpkin Skull Fanatic, what is that? Oh, I think while you kill things wearing this disguise, you get Plunder Skulls, and then that can be used for something. And then eventually you can get a Hollow Jack uh, motif. So I gotta find out what the, like, how the heck I get these things. Do you have to kill bosses for that? Alright, I guess I'm gonna try to kill some stuff and see what happens. Maybe this dolmen is up soon. That would be useful. We could test it out on that. Oh, it looks like it was just completed, actually. Alright, so the dolmen is up. I'm gonna try to do it and see if we get any interesting drops. It might be that you have to kill a boss. I didn't really read um, the details about this quest too well. Ooh, we got a plunder skull. All right. Nothing so what do I do with that? Actually, if I read the buff here, it says transform you into a living skeleton and allows you to obtain Plunder Skull from any Delve or Dungeon boss increases your experience gain by 100%. Alright, so we need to defeat a boss in order to get the Plunder Skull, but I'm not really sure what that does exactly. Let me take a look at it. This bucket contains items that many witches and warlocks would find interesting. Oh, it's a container! <gasps> okay, you get a chance. I'm assuming you- I don't know if you always get a motif, but I got one. That's awesome. Okay, so I gotta go kill some bosses. <laughs>